Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Come on, see what happens. <laughs> he kept me up all afternoon playing the guitar. So, it's been one big party. So, anyway, we took the tour bus down. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Sure. That was a good idea. That yeah. worked out well. We played cards the whole time. I lost about 23 bucks. How much did you lose, Jackie? Theoretically, I didn't lose any, except I was in charge of the money. No, but so did I you... paid everybody out, and I wound up losing like 13 bucks, because that... So I... theoretically, you lost 13 bucks. He always has a story. Yeah, he didn't really lose at cards, but he was down 13. Theoretically, I didn't lose any. There was just no money left in the till after everybody got paid. <laughs> it's unfair. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, he was supposed He's to He's a good win. banker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had the chips, I just didn't get the cash. So then uh, the tour bus was pretty good, and I managed to... The tour bus was cool because I managed to get Jessica Hahn's bra off with her shirt on. Did you see that? Yeah, everybody thought Thank you were some kind of magician. Yeah, Jessica was like, you're like Houdini. I got her whole bra off. I got it on videotape. It's pretty cool the way I did it. Yeah, everybody was wondering. She even was wondering. She says, I don't know how he did that. And then we fanned Jessica's breasts. It, most of the ride and most of the last night was just around Jessica's breasts. <laughs> To be honest with you. Well, it's kind of interesting, that whole thing. And you, you got back on the bus at one point, and, you know, you rushed to the table, you know, because there was this little yeah. table area that you were playing cards around. And then you said, okay, Jessica, crawl over me. Yeah. I was like, gee, crawl, o- crawl onto the table, honey. <laughs> crawl we, over me. And then we slid Jessica on the table, right? Yeah, you slid her, you cleaned the table off with her yeah, body. We, we actually cleaned the table with Jessica's breast. <laughs> It was such a manly bus ride. Did you notice how it's just getting progressively worse? When we first met Jessica, it was like, oh, we can't really talk about it. Yeah, and it right, got a little yeah. worse. Now it's just like, get now your clothes off and get in the tub. At well, one, point, one point we were in the tub with her last night, and Jackie goes, so tell me the truth about that snap and gyro. And she told us. <laughs> yeah, she did. She explained They're actually recreating the act now. What's yeah. the explanation? She was describing her exercise. Yeah, how she does it. Exercise? She exercises her gyro. Oh, man. Yeah, and you know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, hey, what time is it? It's 6.17. We're going... Hey, everybody come down to... We got a cool funeral planned. I got all the music worked out and everything. Yeah, you were working on that yesterday. Yeah, and uh, we're here at Rittenhouse Square. And the zookeeper, I think, <laughs> the guy we're burying, like, can see us from his window. Yes. Which is pretty cool. I heard that the, on the air they were saying something like, ooh, the weather's pretty bad today, so I don't think anybody should be out at the square. <laughs> uh, were they saying that? Yeah, on MMR. Oh, okay. they, they also did something else different as we drove by last night. They always have their window open on the studio. For the first time I can ever remember, they've got the drapes drawn. It's like boarded up, so they can't see anything out the window. Hey, Andy, get a life. Thank you. <laughs> All right. He's, he's driving around WMMR in it the gets, middle of the night. Yeah, really. <laughs> Andy, I think you're a little obsessed with your job. Job. It, yeah. gets, it gets better. He yeah. comes up to me last night in the bar and yeah. says to me, how crazy is stuttering John? Yeah. And I go, we're pretty crazy. And he goes, listen, I need his help. MMR has this plaque. I can't do this if you say it. Yeah. M- MMR has this plaque, and I want it. Oh, Will John go oh. help me? They want to get like a crowbar and like crank it. Oh, no. Pry this plaque off the wall. Hey, Andy, you're important. Thank you. Yeah, right. <laughs> you could have changed rooms with John, no problem. Cool. That's for banging on my door at 11 o'clock. Right? Yeah, right. Where's your shaving cream? All right. So anyway, so the bus ride was cool. In fact, we did something real cool. We pulled in at a McDonald's. And about, uh, there was about 20 people on the bus. We all pile off. <laughs> and uh, this guy in the parking lot starts screaming my name. Howard, Howard, Howard. We all go over to greet him, and Jackie throws grapes at his head. Oh, we got that on no. tape. The guy was totally deflated. That he was, was feeling so really full of himself. <laughs> and Another then, listener lost. Then we go into a McDonald's, and we ordered, all 20 of us ordered one French fry. And then Leslie tried to pay for it with a $100 bill. <laughs> yeah, then we left, and then Jessica tried to flag down cars with her breasts and offer them the French fries. So we spent so that's why we were late getting into Philly. Yeah, but then, don't forget, Jessica was hitchhiking, and when the car pulled over, everyone got in it. Yeah. Yeah, then we got in, and we stole a guy's jacket and wallet. <laughs> Steve and somebody Longo. yelled it was a cop, so we all left. And then we left Jessica in the car with the cop. <laughs> so then, uh, we pull into Philly. Everything was cold. We had, you know, like, legitimate meetings. Sure, for a minute. For a minute. <laughs> and then, um... I'm trying to think how it all started. All right, so we were eating dinner. Mm-hmm. Me, Jackie, Fred, and Billy. Yeah. All right, we were planning today's events. And you're you're st- gonna swear that it was by accident that her room was right next door to yours at her joining room. You're gonna you swear that? that? No, that was actually an accident. no. It wasn't an adjoining room. It turned out. Oh, it wasn't. But I, she was right next door. I was in, No, no, she wasn't. I was in a room 
Then there was like two rooms, and so Jessica was about a third of the way down the hall. She's the next door, isn't she? Okay. No, no, she wasn't. Don't say she was, you little worm. She's not, <laughs> she's not next door, but she's closer than a she's third. Closer than, yeah. But she's just, uh, she's on, she's about five more feet away from Gary's room than mine. Okay, so if I can say that. <laughs> so then she went to his tub. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, she might have been. She might have ended up in his tub. <laughs> Andy, are we going to get electrocuted out there today or what? No, you're grounded, you're safe, you're covered, there's sides on the tent, everything's safe. Yeah, okay. Famous last words. It's pretty cool. I figure around 8 o'clock we'll hit Rittenhouse Square. There's people, lots of people out there already yeah. lining up. Yeah, just bring an umbrella and hang out. Let's not, you know... Do we have umbrellas? No. <laughs> You've got a whole tent over you, you'll be fine. <laughs> Scott's dressed like the zookeeper, it's frightening. He actually looks like the zookeeper. I heard with that mustache. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> hey, you look like the zookeeper, dude. <laughs> where's, your, where's your teeth? They're over there. They're hard to keep, they're hard to keep in without uh, yeah, choking. Yeah, Debella has that same problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do look like him, unfortunately. Yeah. Is it the weekend yet? <laughs> <laughs> Then in Rittenhouse Square, we're actually going to be lowering, we're going to be hitting his picture with paint, and then we're going to be lowering my picture as I take my place as rightful king of Philadelphia. Oh, this is so cool. We better do well in the next rating. It's going to be awfully embarrassing for you. You know, Robbins. And we're also going to hang him in effigy. Yeah, we got that. We're going to oh, hang good. him. Oh, good. Yeah, we should see him in effigy. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, then we're in the room, so we're riding, right? Yeah. So Jessica comes in in her bathrobe. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. She comes in in her bathrobe. Uh, did you call her or she just showed up? <laughs> All right. So now no, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Conference. No, I'm trying it's to like, remember. It's like one of those congressional hearings. Wait a minute, Excuse I have to talk me. to my just, lawyer. It just uh. seems like at one point she must have had her clothes on. We called, no, we called Jessica and said, what are you doing? But we were uh -huh. calling everyone. You we called, called everyone. Okay, right. I didn't get right. a call. So we said, uh, she <laughs> goes, well, I'm sitting here in my bathroom. We go, okay, let's come in here, Jessica, so we can see you in your bathroom. So she comes in and she's wearing a bathrobe. You asked her to come in to see her in her bathrobe. Right. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, I'm just checking. So she came in, sat down. We were rapping to her, and we said, "Look, we got to write." We were doing everything we could to avoid writing. Face right. It. it was because we were tired. So we we said we had to write. So she said, "What am I supposed to wear tomorrow?" He said, "Well, do you have outfits you can try on for us?" She said, "Well, not really. I didn't bring a lot of outfits." <laughs> so this was the move. Oh, uh, man. Do we have to take a break? Sure. All right, listen, let's take a break. I'll get to the rest of the story. Let me confer with the rest of the guys. Uh, yeah, they got to keep the... Yeah. What did you tell your wife last night? Oh, I, I, I did a miserable job of explaining this to my wife. I go, hey, yeah, we threw John in a tub with Jessica. Yeah, me and Jackie were in there, too. 92.3 right. K-Rock, WYSP, WJFK. We will be broadcasting live from Rittenhouse Square. What time does the press conference start? 7 o'clock. Yeah. What are they going to do? Just ask us questions? i got to show you the list of who's going to be here. All right. The gay press. Everybody. <laughs> That's all I care about is the gay press. They're the only ones that really count. We've been waiting to meet the gay press. Yeah. I want to address the gay press. <laughs> I like the gay press. Hello. Hello. Uh, but we got how many, like, different newspapers, TV and stuff? To hand you the list, there's, uh, t like, two pages worth and more coming every second. All right, that should be kind of funny. All right. So it's a big like, turnout by the press, too? There's, like, a hundred different newspapers, magazines, television, even radio stations showing up. You're yeah. kidding. I say we only take questions from the gay press. <laughs> All right? That's it. Everyone else has to be quiet. Will, will, will we have a seating chart so you can only oh. call on the gay press? Yeah, right. That'll be it. <laughs> like the president. All right, yeah. hold on. Let me just take a break, and we'll get back to the uh, rest of uh, what's going on here right after these words. <laughs> We'll be back with the Zoo Funeral in Philadelphia with Howard Stern after this. Baldy, baldy. Whoa, whoa. Are you really bold? Hey. If you don't want to be slowed down when you're having fun, it's the right beer now. It's the silver bullet was made to move. calls for the official beer of the 90s, Coors Light. So spring open an ice-cold silver bullet. It's the right beer now. In 
1914, a new, highly effective form of physical torture was unveiled. Its cruel, vice-like design served to restrict movement, forcing its victim's knees towards his or her own chest for hours at a time. They dubbed this unique torture chamber the airline seat. At Virgin Atlantic Airways, we've come forward to offer our answer to this familiar airline seating experience. We call it the Virgin Atlantic Sleeper Seat. Found in Virgin Atlantic's upper class to London, it is fully reclining with at least 15 extra inches of welcome legroom and it's so wide we can only fit four across, even in our huge 747s. We can only hope our comfortable sleeper seats will serve as a positive example to other business class seating. You can do your part by flying exclusively in Virgin Atlantic's upper class to London. Virgin Atlantic Airways, the entertainment capital of the sky. Fly to London during Virgin's spring seat sale, now through June 15th, for as low as $169. Restrictions apply. Frank DeFord, editor of the National Sports Daily. The best sports writers from every newspaper in the country. How do we get them? By giving them the chance to move from the back of the paper right up to the front page. At the National, sports comes first. Not after the politicians behind the catastrophes and back of the stocks and bonds. But first, last, and in the middle. That's what we offered guys like Mike Lupica and Lyle Spencer and John Feinstein here in New York. The chance to be part of the new national pastime. And that's how we got them. And you don't have to miss one exciting minute of the NBA. NBA playoffs when you pick up the National. Now through the finals, the National brings you all the big games, the upsets, the blowouts, the best coverage of basketball's best players in the ultimate showcase. Magic, Isaiah, Ewing, and Jordan, the Pistons, the Lakers, the Bulls, and the Knicks. Who will wear the crown and who will be waiting till next year? When it comes to the NBA, nobody knows their stuff like the National. For the everyday fan, every day. Tonight at 8 on Channel 11. Kirk Cameron and Dudley Moore are trading places. Brain transference serum. In like father, like son. What the hell have you done to me? But after a few growing pains, ah! they just might get the hang of it. Dad bends the rules in school. It's really not cool to scam on your own son's date. And Junior plays doctor with the boss's wife. Here I am. Oh! You said any time. So who's having more fun tonight? God, this is great! I love it! You decide. You used my credit cards. Get in the house. You are grounded for the rest of your life. It's a far out, out-of-body experience. Kirk Cameron and Dudley Moore in a New York television premiere. Like father. Mumbo jumbo. Like son. Yo. In full stereo sound. Tonight at 8 on Channel 11. New York's movie station. If you sing along with the music, listen to a Sony UX series audio tape. It's got the widest dynamic range for all the highs, lows, and dreams you can handle. When you hear every note, you feel every note. So don't stop the music. Do us all a favor. See where a Sony UX cassette takes you. Sony UX series cassette tape. Take it for a spin. I'm back. How far did you jog today, Dad? Five miles. I gotta take off these sneakers. Oh, no. Sneak aroma. Sneak aroma. Now you can stop sneak aroma with Keep It In Your Sneaker, the deodorant powder made especially for sneakers. Keep It In Your Sneaker has special ingredients that cool off sneaker heat and help dry out sneaker moisture as they stop sneak aroma. No more sneak aroma, right, Dad? Stop sneak aroma with Keep It In Your Sneaker. Now at athletic stores, soon at drug counters and supermarkets. They can eat me cause we We're back, live from Philadelphia. Us. Here's Howard Stern. Through the zoo. <laughs> All right, we're back. 92.3 K Rock WYSP WJFK. Uh, I see Miss Philadelphia over there who is getting ready to, uh, I don't know what she's getting ready to do. She's, well, she's in her crown. You're in your crown, and I dig that. I can appreciate a crown. It's cute, though. We would get her in the bathtub, Jackie. She can think of a way. It's not easy. Now, Jessica's one in a million, Robin. I, you know, not too many like her. All right, so where were we? Anyway, we're in Philadelphia. The weather, uh, it's going to be drizzly out there today, but I don't think that should put a damper on things. You're going to oh, fight oh. the weather. We're going to fight the weather, man. It's like Woodstock when we put that whole thing together. We yeah. were nervous, but it worked out. <laughs> I guess if you bring an umbrella down, you'll be cool, because it's not raining that hard. 
No, it's not like a hurricane or anything. No, it's, it's like no a monsoon. monsoon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Andy has a rain plan, so don't worry. <laughs> Some rain plan, dude. Figures it's nice all week and then it rains. And, you know, it's going to be a cool funeral. And we are here uh, in Philadelphia, as promised, because we are number one. Right? Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> saying it. Yeah. So we believe it. We don't feel like we've done anything differently, but we are number one. And it took four, four long years. Uh, by the way, some of the people who are going to be there, uh, Joe Frazier will be giving a speech. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I'm Jolton I, Joe Frazier. Jolton Joe Frazier will be down there. Smoking Joe Frazier. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. That's his name. Whatever. <laughs> Is that his legal name, yeah. Smoking? Smoking Joe Frazier. <laughs> Reverend Messy Jerkson will be there. <laughs> Uh, the incredible Larry Fine will be making an appearance. Yes. The intelligence dude. Hey, Larry, come here for a second. You will be making a speech today in Rittenhouse Square, right? I come here. Come up to the mic. Oh, I wish I hadn't drank so much with Jackie the Joke Man last night. <laughs> but you will make a speech, right? We were supposed to stop after five bottles of champagne, Jackie. At the, um, at the big uh, funeral today, will you be warning us? No, oh, I'll be warning all of you. Bring an umbrella and listen to everything I say because we're going to bury the zookeeper. Right. Oh, I've got an awful headache. <laughs> hey, what did we eat for dinner last night? <laughs> All right, so it's uh, Larry. Good morning, you. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like trout almondine. I'm fanning them up to my face. <laughs> Larry, keep it in your pants. And uh, by the way, Larry Fine would not get in the bathtub with Jessica. He wouldn't. I'm very proud of him. No, no he did some no, other Jack stuff. Jackie Joke Man, or El Hombre del Comedia, as we call him in Spain, <laughs> yeah. took up too much of the bathtub. Oh, there was no room for you. There was yeah. no room. Oh, well, the at one point, ja Jackie was on top of Jessica's shoulder. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, let me jump in. All right, all right, all right. Here's what happened. It's a law of physics. It's displacement. There was water all there over the floor. There was no water. In yes, there foot. was. I'm warning you. You should have seen it. I needed my flood gear. <laughs> hey, Miss Philadelphia, you want to come out and give a speech too today? Yeah, yeah, okay. As long as you got time, because at 8 o'clock we're going to go out and do the funeral, maybe you should address the crowd. Oh, cool. Hey, that's a good-looking broad. <laughs> hey, calm down, Larry. Calm down, Larry. <laughs> oh, boy. She's eloquent. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a chubby in uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> it hasn't happened in 25 years. What would Mo say if he was alive? He'd poke my eyes out and say, don't look at her like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so here's the deal. I got a lot of stuff to get in before the press conference. Yes, hurry up. Tell All right. me this story. Okay, so anyway, you know what this felt like? Remember I said I wanted to have a room like I saw David Lee Roth having a party? Yeah. There were people walking by my room and waiters and stuff coming in, and I was running around in a towel at one point, soaking wet. Jessica was running around in a tub. Jackie was wet in his pants. Uh, it, it, it was just, it was perfect. It was everything I wanted. So I'm happy this morning. You know what? The whole thing was reflected in that waiter's response. Yeah. He what did in, the waiter do? Hold it. Let me, get, let me jump in ahead. Okay, so... Jessica comes in and decides she's going to try a different outfit for us. So the outfit she's wearing in Rittenhouse Square today is like a, a mini brassiere. Yeah. Mini brassiere. Mini, mini. mini brassiere, okay? <laughs> yes. It's weird working this close to you. <laughs> Uh, hey, did John get in your pants last night? No, come here. Yeah, tell the truth. <laughs> Please, uh, if he's in there, he's in there now. I'm <laughs> warning you. All right, so, so listen to this. Uh -huh. So the four of us are sitting there, me, Fred, Jackie, and Billy. Okay. Okay. Jessica walks in, and she's wearing like a leotard and just like a see-through brassiere. Everything's like hanging out her giant breasts. And she's got giant breasts. You'll see it at the Square today. You mean leotard bottom? No, like a sweatsuit. Gee, how do I describe it this? Was, okay, it was like a bustier top, except... Don't you know, call me that. You know where, <laughs> where there's supposed to be a covering over the breast part? Nothing. I mean, yeah, sheer. Just sheer. I mean, it had like little designs, but it wasn't... wearing that. It was like lacy, but right. it wasn't covering no, anything. Right. Okay. And then you know, the, you know when that thing that kind of snaps down... You know, just kind of hey, Gary, you weren't there. Gyro. That snapping <laughs> gyro yeah, right. was okay. there. <laughs> get a snap anyway, it. Leave, it, leave it be it's said. It's that rotating Greek meat that you see on this. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Okay, the outfit. So All we're right, because I'm at just, it. you know, a leotard covers your top. Right, but it, it wasn't a leotard. The top was a bustier. Okay, so. So we're sitting and writing, and Jackie basically said. <laughs> You're writing with her in this outfit. Uh, no, she just stopped in while we were writing to say, what do you think of this outfit? And we're looking at it and stuff and getting really horny. We said, come on, we want to see your breasts. We all said it.
So she said, no, I'm not going to show them to you. She goes, well, okay, because I was in Playboy, so I'll show them to you. But, but there's a the rationale. It was a shot in the dark. It, wasn't, it was. It was. We like, didn't we're expect kidding around. We were begging for a good 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> it was like, show them, Jessica. Ha, ha, ha. Show them, Jessica. Ha, so then she pulled off her top. You know, she pulled it down. And we she saw just them. pulled it down. She pulled it down, and we saw them. Okay. And like we were like wild. And I said, wait a second. I can't right now. I have to see them again. So then she showed us again. I said, there's a problem. And she goes, well, what's the problem? I said, the problem is... Your belly is flat from nutrition, so I want to see the flatness of your belly with your breasts. So, so wait a second. So, this is true. So finally, after much nagging, oh, her, just her whole top was off. Okay, and then she put it back on. Okay, so then that was fun. All right. So How then many we times figured, did she flash us? I would say three I would to say, five. Yeah. Five. Three to five. Five to You lost count. Five to seven. <laughs> I thought my Johnson was going to get up and bark like Lassie at that point. <laughs> so anyway. Larry was crawling across the floor. Oh, man, I'll tell you. And uh, some of it we got on videotape because Fred had a video camera. <laughs> so, so anyway, then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so Fred then, need a mill. Yeah. <laughs> Je Jessica's naked. We're all drooling in Fred's video thing. Yeah. So anyway, then Jessica goes, I'm going back to my room now. You guys have to write. I'm going to take a bath. So we said, the collective we, we all said, leave your door open. We'll come in and watch you in the bath. She goes, okay. So. <laughs> and, you know, and you know what happened after that? A few minutes later, we're banging on the wall to tell her that we're coming, and a few minutes after that, we realized she wasn't in the room next to us. No, she we're wasn't in the, she wasn't really the in the next room. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, boy. So, so Jackie was banging on the door trying to get in, but anyway, so she left the door open for us. So we walk in, and she's drawing her bath, and we go, we want to watch it. She goes, I can't leave my door open. You know, I got my money in the room and stuff, and remember somebody walks in while I'm taking a bath. So Jackie did say, I got to credit him with this. He, he came up with a good idea. He said, why don't you bathe in our room? So, ah. totally, totally kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Like, of course she wouldn't in a so, million yeah, years. Yeah, right. So she came in, and she drew the bath in our room. All right. And uh, oh, what kind of bath was this? A bubble bath. Bubble bath. Okay. So we said, but keep the, but there's only one condition. You have to keep the door open. She goes, okay, as long as the lights are low. And and I said, I said, well, all right. Like like I'm giving in. Okay, all right. So she gets... <laughs> what a negotiator you are. Miss Philadelphia, this could be your life. Uh. <laughs> so then... Yeah, it was a tough negotiation, but... If only it was this easy to negotiate with this radio station, you know? <laughs> if only Jessica ran the radio station. You have to sign me for big money, but you have to keep the lights low. Hey, is John... Yeah, is John outdoors? <laughs> oh, he's sitting right there. Hey, John, you're useless. Why don't you go outside and talk to the crowd? All right, I'll send you out in a minute. I'm stuttering like a mad dog. Did you oh, brush? he should be good and stuttery today. Did you uh, brush your teeth? No. He's chewing gum to try to help his breath. He goes, he goes b -b 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 Howard, uh, you have to let me go to my room to b -b brush my teeth. I just woke up. Oh, and he's got certs and gum. Well, John actually works into this story, okay? Yeah. So I keep checking to see if Jessica's in the tub. She wasn't in the tub because I had like, I left a crack in the door so I could look through the mirror. I was like a three-year-old. So I'm looking and looking, and she hasn't gotten... And she's wearing, like, this flimsy negligee at this point. Uh -huh. And she's sitting... It was like a Playboy shoot. She's drawing the bath and everything. We keep checking on her, right? Uh -huh. And um, finally, she gets in the bath. <laughs> we're trying to write, and we can hear the water running. Yeah, right. It's like, sure, we can concentrate. I love you guys. I miss you guys. <laughs> so, Don't bother me while I'm naked in the tub. <laughs> so she gets naked. She's totally nude in, the, in my bathtub. Yes. All right? So me and Jackie, Fred and Billy were all deciding, should we go in and watch? So we just walked in and we watched. So she was taking a bath and she started screaming that her bubbles were fading away. But we saw everything meanwhile. She was then, in the tub and you just went in. Yeah, we watched. And sat and looked. Yeah, and looked. We were hanging out. We were hanging out with her. We didn't want her to be lonely. The ultimate voyeur. Yeah. I'm telling you. So, so you're watching her take a bath. <laughs> unbelievable. And rich. she just continued to bathe. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, she had to get clean, Robin. So then... We all started talking that we should jump in the tub with her because she told us to come in the tub. Oh, she, she did? She invited yeah, us. She invited that wasn't us in. even our idea. Yeah. She said come in yeah, the tub. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Because Robin called my room during this. I'm like, look, Robin, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. And she goes, what's we're going busy. on in there? I go, yeah, I go we're busy, right? And she goes, it's Jessica. where's Jessica? I'm trying to get in touch with her. I, I didn't. I wasn't trying to get in touch with her. That was a shot in the dark. Oh, it was. I said, is Jessica in that room oh, because shoot. of the way you were stuttering? Oh, so I go. <laughs> <laughs> so I go. I said to Robin, I go, uh, listen, uh, we're, we're riding, and yeah, yeah, Jessica's in here, but, I, goes, I, but she's naked. She's and in the tub, and I just threw John out the door. He's soaked. Wait, don't worry. So I hung up on Robin, and Robin kept calling back, interrupting the action. I said, don't worry, I'll tell you everything that happens. You know I will. Oh, boy. So, um, 
Then uh, me, me and Jackie were like, well, maybe we should get in. Because forget about Fred and Billy. They wouldn't even do it. So we said, nah, we're married. We can't get in the tub. Let's but it, get John. But it, was, it was too good an opportunity to just let it fly by. So we called Sutter and John. We said, get down here immediately. How come you didn't throw Gary? I, went, I was wondering about that all Because Gary's turned into a real drag. Oh, really? We've all decided that. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, he's really become like, I can't talk now. I can't, you know, I can't get a word in edgewise. Every minute, every minute. Oh, you can't really? get a word you in You turned edgewise. me into a drag. You, ba- you so beat anyway, into my head that I not have any fun. Loosen so anyway, up. loosen up. So anyway, <laughs> so, so then, and because Gary wouldn't have gotten in the tub anyway. Oh, yeah, right. So stuttering John comes down. And he just, just walks in. We said, get your clothes off. Jessica's in the room. He goes, no, 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 no. You're fooling. Did you think Jessica was really in there? Or did you thought we were goofing on you, John? Come here. I thought it was a goof to get my pants off. Get up here. He was, oh, he oh, was he... trying to figure out what we were going to do to him, I thought. I thought it was a goof for me to get my pants off or something. Maybe video taking Gee, that mic doesn't help at all. <laughs> oh, on the air. So then... Don't chew on the air, John. It's 6.39, by the way. We'll all be out in Rittenhouse Square live, uh, but we got to finish the story. Robin wants to know. So anyway... <laughs> So then John comes in the room, and I rip off his shirt, and uh, me and Jackie pull down his pants. So you just get in the tub. Jessica's in there. Yeah, she's in the tub. You're undressing John. Right. So John's in his underpants, okay? Because I didn't want to throw a naked John in there. Right. He's in his underpants. Right. So John's in his underpants. What kind of underpants? You got yeah, boxers we got or a little... I got it on videotape. Don't worry about it. It's on videotape. You know, Robin's curious because she was Freddie, you got the tape, right? Get out of here. Oh, she right. was digging me last night, I'm telling you. Yeah? She wanted me. Boxer so, shirts, John. Uh, so wait a second. This is the best arm, part. Like... This is the coolest part. So John's like flipping out. I go, look, she's in there. And then he looks through the crack of the door. He sees she's naked in the tub. He goes in, and he doesn't just get in the tub. He dives into the tub. <laughs> this is a bathtub, okay? Jessica looks and sees who it is. The water is turning black from John's dirt and underwear. Are you kidding? I swear I to really God. Did. It really did. Oh Come on. God. Jessica grabs her breasts, and you know how hard that is, and she starts screaming in the tub. Get him out. Get him out. Just get... You'll see it on tape. Just get him out. I'll do anything. Just get yeah. him out. So... Because it was... Oh, that it was disgusting. Like, she was like, oh, I wonder who's going to jump in, you know. It John. Howard and Jackie and Fred. And Billy. Like, and I'm saying, Jessica, calm down. It's stuttering John. It's John. I'm yelling. It's John. It's okay. It's stuttering John. She goes, I don't care. Get him out of the tub. I go, but it's stuttering John. It's cool. And then it dawned on me, too. Stuttering John's is some slob we picked up off the street. He's a sleazebag. He would right. be homeless if we didn't take After care of him. Exactly. Out of the water, it looked like a sewer. Yeah, right. <laughs> he told me she kept saying, I, "You soiled the water." Yeah. <laughs> she was screaming, "You soiled the water!" And she needed more. She needed more bath gel. So it almost ruined everything. Oh, so we had no more bath gel. Jackie calls down immediately to the uh, guy downstairs and tells him to bring up like a case of bath Emergency gel. Emergency bath gel. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I said I can't explain this, but we're four guys up here. We need more, more bath. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, like Gary's not even around. Gary's busy with Andy telling each other that they that they each matter. You know, in life. <laughs> and, uh, so, so then we get Jessica more bath gel, and she takes some of my shampoo, and she gets back in the tub, and she's in there, you know, la 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 la, la taking her bath. And she sa- I walk in, and she says, "Come on, you really should get in." So I walk out to Jackie and Fred and Billy, and I said, "Look, Jessica wants us in there. I, I'm a married man. If we go all go in there, it's fun." If I go in there myself, it's, you, it's a, you know it's a sex rules. thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, if you just went in by yourself, you would be hung. You'd That's be hung. cheating. Right. But if you go in with a group, right. you're okay. So forget about Fred and Billy. They're too... They're, I don't know what they are. <laughs> they're right. eunuchs. They're eunuchs. <laughs> two, <laughs> two homo eunuchs. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. There's like nothing in their pants. <laughs> All that big bulge in Billy's <laughs> pants, that's cotton. <laughs> so, that's, a, that's a double roll of socks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You know, so Fred, Fred was busy videotaping, of course. <laughs> He's making a movie. Yeah, yeah right. Interrupt him. The, the guy, you know, the guy who took the Rob Lowe videotape who didn't join in? That's Fred. <laughs> so me, so Jackie, I said, Jackie, come on. He goes, eh, Mary, can't do it. So, all right. Because I was already in my bathrobe anyway, my uh-huh. underwear. Fred, uh, Jackie wasn't drunk enough yet to forget that he was. No, I was, right. I was fully dressed. I mean, you know. Well, yeah. So Jackie had his pants on. I go in. I had my, you know, my underpants on and stuff. So we go. We jump into. You're the You're all in your underpants. Yeah. So we. Oh, jump, I had my pants. Yeah, on. he had his pants. Okay. So Jessica, we jump into the tub with Jessica. Yeah. And all I know is Jessica and Jackie like end up arm in arm, and I'm just sort of like left out. Ah. Uh, right. So I. St- I mean, Jackie a- like knew how to maneuver himself. So I start complaining. Wait, no, you're six foot five. I fit in the tub. You right. hardly fit in I didn't in fit in. Tub. Your legs were everywhere. So Jessica goes, there's a way to rearrange. So we, we spent about five minutes rearranging. So it ended up that Jackie was giving Jessica a rub down while Jessica gave me a rub down. 
Oh, jeez. Right. So Jessica starts rubbing down, and Jackie was rubbing down, and we, we kind of behaved. I thought how, we behaved ourselves. How did we fit in the tub? I don't know. Jackie figured it out, though, because Jackie was a uh, MIT uh, He's an engineer. Guy. Yeah, an engineer. There was room for that banana I threw in. <laughs> Larry threw in a banana. Boy, one hair dryer in that tub, I could have taken out the three I'm of them like that. <laughs> Billy brought a radio in and threatened to throw it in on in the tub. So anyway, so we're in there, and Jessica was giving me a pretty good rub down and starts talking to me about how what she likes to do is get a guy really excited and then, like, stop. And that, that makes it unbelievable. She was she, explaining how she teases a bit. Yeah. So she started rubbing me down and stuff and you know, getting into it. And that was, it felt pretty good. And then all of a sudden, I realized it might go too far. So I got out of the tub. Well, then you realize it was my hand. Yeah. <laughs> and Jackie kept putting her hand, forcing her hand down. You know. Oh, you lower and lower? Yeah. Oh, goodness. But she was going for it. This she wanted it. I could have had it last you, night. What did I ask you on the bus, Gary? Yeah. I said, all those guys were back there surrounded Jessica. I said, which one would she get? And which said, one would get her? And I said, Howard. She said, she said yeah, but you were guessing like It would have like been a... Jackie. It would have been yeah, Jackie. Yeah. Well, Jackie was giving her a pretty good rub down. I, I don't know what was going on, but... <laughs> And I was getting a pretty good rub down, so she I said... She would have left Howard and well, gone the, with Jack. The better so I rubbed her, the better she rubbed you. Yeah, and afterwards I felt guilty, but I realized it was like being in a swimming pool. But meanwhile, there was water yeah, all I over the place. Yeah, I give rub downs in a swimming pool. So we got out. So we... But, hey, you'll be proud of me. I got out. And uh, <laughs> did you, did you I called, what do I, I called, care? I called my wife immediately afterwards, and I said... Uh, Feeling guilty? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I said, hey, wait a second. This could be like almost like cheating. <laughs> when that room service kid came up with a Oh, tray. that was the worst part. When were, where were you when the room service guy came up? Well, I came came out and I had a towel and I was like drying off. Jessica you was drying off. You had gotten out of the towel. Oh yeah, I was out. Everybody was getting out. Jessica was drying off and Jackie's running around with like dripping wet pants. <laughs> I, and, and I uh, sent him in. We sent him into the bed. And, he, and hey, Jackie sends in him into the bathroom. I said, hey, wait a second. This is going to look like I just slept with Jessica Hahn. <laughs> the guy's walking around with a tray going, my God. Yeah. <laughs> It looked really cool, but then I said, "But what if this ends up in the newspaper that I, you know, I did her?" Right. It yeah. looked a lot. It You're looked a lot wilder than it was. It did look wild. It looked You're wild. worried about going to a play with Richard Simmons. No. You're in a bathtub with Jessica Hahn. I don't know. When I walked in this morning, as many as much water as it takes to fill a tub, that's how high it was filled with wet towels. Oh, yeah. And then, I, you know, I feel kind of embarrassed. I wanted Gary to take all the wet towels <laughs> away, away, and put them in his room. He won't do it. He says it's no big deal. No, it was. I mean, it wasn't like it didn't look like anything bad happened. How was afraid that it was evidence? He's so guilty about this that he thinks that someone's going to walk and see those towels and go, ah, he was with Jessica. No, I don't want the hotel to think I'm a slob. That's what that's about. Oh, there was water everywhere. Yeah, it was like a swimming pool in there, like a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. but Jessica was yeah. in the tub, and it was completely full. Yeah. And then me and Howard both got in. So, so like a lot of water had to get out. Well, when John dove in, it was like a tidal wave in the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't want you to dive in. What was that all about? She freaked, man, when you got in. We got that all on tape. You wanted me to suddenly... What, what was I supposed to do? You should carry 2,000 flushes wherever you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Larry Fine. I'm hey, by the way, you. Did, wait a minute. Did they get film of you and Jessica and Jackie in the tub? Hell no. No, we didn't get, oh, the, uh, we didn't get in the tub until Fred's battery Fred, ran out. <laughs> Once the battery ran out, we looked at each oh, other. Oh, there was nothing going on here. Right, right. Nothing going on here. I believe this story. Sure, they didn't do anything. Well, Jessica will be down later. You can ask her. Oh, well, did, yeah, like she would tell the truth. She, she, yeah, she's always been repulsed by me. Did I you, know. Did you tip her? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Hey, man, all I know is nothing happened. Afterwards, they prayed. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, nothing happened. All he happened. knows is nothing happened. He's Here's been what I think. in the tub with a naked woman, a married man. I have to admit, though, every oh, 10 minutes or so, guys, it. every 10 minutes or so, in the middle of the Malia Howard, we go, really, we got to write. <laughs> I, I know. That's all I wanted well, to do was write. Well, saying to me on the phone. These guys won't write. I know. We're I can't naked. Them to write. He was desperate. We're half naked, goes. dripping, and Howard's going, we really have to write. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Robin. Jackie and Fred won't write. I'm the constant And then it would get real quiet and we start diddling around. He said, shh, listen, she shut the water off. <laughs> <laughs> let's go in. All right, well, listen. Well, you're not too pent up. Yeah, but it wasn't even, it wasn't, oh, man. I, one, all I know is I laid down, hit that bedroom after everybody left, and I was finished inside of three seconds. All right, listen. Now, here's the deal. We are here in Philadelphia. Enough of what happened in the rooms last night. John, you grab the wireless microphone. Go out. Give us a report. It is, is it drizzling. Oh, look at Scott. He's dressed up in his zoo shirt. Look, he's got his sailor, oh, sailor cap. <laughs> Mustache and Hawaiian shirt. shirt. Scott's all dressed like the zookeeper. We've got the casket. AJ the pallbearer is here. Hey, are there any... Uh, go out and find some more bikini girls sure. to uh, be pallbearers. What's pall that bearers. shirt? Okay. What time is it? That's his uh, burial shroud. You look like a gay walrus. <laughs> <laughs> Scott unbuttoned his hair. He's bald today. <laughs> 
All right. And um, listen, we're going out into Rittenhouse Square. Smoking Joe Frazier will be there giving a speech. We have our black choir. We're going to be singing songs. We're holding the press conference in a few minutes, so I want you to get outside and see what's going on. Where's the black choir? We need to rehearse, too. Yeah, we did need to rehearse. And Miss Philadelphia is going to save her speech. You make a speech to the crowd, Miss Philadelphia, about how we're number one now, and you welcome us to Philly. How how does someone become Miss Philadelphia? Or I'll brain you. What was that, Larry? I'll bean you if you don't do what he says. I'm warning you. <laughs> Larry, fine. I'll Please poke be. your eyes out and I'll take that crown and throw it across the river. Steve Longo, <laughs> Leslie West is here. We're going to be singing uh, Baldy Baldy, and uh, it's going to be good. And we got a whole stage set up, and we're going to be lowering his picture and hitting it with paint and stuff. It's going to be cool. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. Yeah, and uh, let me take a break. And, John, you go outside and see if you can find some okay. girls. And we'll be back right after these words. Someone told me John DeBell is through at the zoo. He should be it's Howard Stern from Philadelphia. We'll return to the zoo funeral in a moment. Oh, now you're through. This is Allison Steele on 92.3 K-Rock. I've had the pleasure of playing some great rock and roll through the years, and I can tell you that right now there's only one station in New York that plays classic rock and roll back-to-back with no filler or fluff, and that's 92.3 K-Rock, and that's why I've switched. So, come, fly with me. Allison Steele, The Nightbird, Saturday nights from 8 to midnight on 92.3 K-Rock, and when I'm not here, I do what you do. Listen to Howard Stern all morning and New York's only classic rock and roll all day on 92.3 K-Rock. Three. You can take a 9X portable cellular phone any place you go. And now, no matter where you take your 9X portable, you can take an extra $100 with you. Because between now and June 30th, we're taking $100 off any 9X portable phone. So no matter what your lifestyle, a 9X Cellular Center can help you pick a portable that's right for you. Call 1-800-443-BELL. That's 1-800-443-BELL and get your 9X portable to go. For mobile communications, the answer is 9X. Step beyond your wildest dreams. There's a billion dollar dream come true. The utterly fantastic Trump Taj Mahal Casino Resort, where every day's a holiday and every night is New Year's Eve. So take a magic ride to the eighth wonder of the world, the Trump Taj Mahal Casino Resort in Atlantic City. You've got to be there to believe it. December, New York City is paralyzed by 10 inches of snow. Pergamon places an order for 30,000 lawnmowers. January, water pipes everywhere explode as the temperature falls to 16 below. Pergamon orders 250,000 ceiling fans. February, Metro North suspends service due to severe ice storms. Pergamon stocks up on lawn chairs. It may have seemed strange at the time, but now it makes all the sense in the world. Since we bought our summer merchandise in the off-season, we can sell it to you now at unbelievably low prices. Case in point, this week, every pergament is running a fantastic promotion on Cuprinol Clearwood Preservative at $42.95 and Clearwood Seal at $27.95. These prices get you six gallons for the price of five. Nothing protects like Cuprinol. The weather's getting warmer, which means it's time for you to visit Pergament and time for us to stock up on snowblowers. Pergament, the original mega home center with everything for your home at guaranteed low prices.
You're listening to the sound of a car thief's worst nightmare, and he can't even hear it. There, the great cutlass. It's the sound heard by police in New Jersey, tracking a stolen car equipped with Lojack. Step out of the car with your hands up. Lojack is a small homing device hidden in your car, automatically activated by police as soon as your car is reported stolen. Once activated, Lojack sends out a silent signal, leading police to your car fast before it can be damaged or stripped. Yeah, the alarm wires were cut. Good thing his car's got low jack. An experienced car thief can beat just about any alarm in minutes. But he can't see or hear low jack. He doesn't even know low jack's there until it's too late. Call it in. Somebody's going to get his car back. Call 1-800-95-LOJACK. That's 1-800-95-L-O-J-A-C-K. Low jack. Because the faster your car is found, the less you stand to lose. Hey, rock and roll fans, you gotta go to Sitco for the 1990 edition of 24 Karat Classic Rock and Roll. This three-volume cassette collection of 30 classics from the 50s and 60s is just $1.99 each with an eight-gallon fill-up at Sitco. Inside each cassette, you'll find a coupon worth a dollar off your next fill-up of the Performer Premium Unleaded. Plus, all three are packed full of photos and fun facts about your favorite groups and artists who made the 50s and 60s the golden era of rock and roll. It's my Bring the memories of the past back to life with the songs you've come to love. With the music that sounds as good today as it did way back then. Three volumes, 30 hits, just $1.99 each for a limited time only. So hit the road and head to Sitco for 24 karat classic rock and roll. And rock and roll home at participating Sitco locations. Would you like, like this, the peppermint? 